In today's photography, post-processing and editing is a common task in an everyday workflow. However, post-processing takes time. And even if you took just five minutes to edit a single photo, that will still take close to an hour if you had only 10 photos to edit. Most people probably have a lot more. And what about the amount of time it takes to learn the editing skills? Likely a lot. For many people, post-processing is just a chore that they would rather not do. So if you're one of those people, you'll be interested to know that there's an app which claims to do photo editing automatically, no photo editing experience required. The app is called Photo Lemur, and it says it improves photos by using the most advanced algorithms and artificial intelligence. It costs 35 US dollars and works for both Mac and Windows. It makes a lot of bold promises on its website, like the ability to correct exposure, recover color, fix lens distortion, enhance skies and foliage, retouch faces, and others automatically. So I put this app to a real-world test with my own unedited photos, of which I have a lot due to the laziness on my part to get it done, and I want to share with you the performance of this app, both positive and negative, and whether it's worth buying. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to help me make more videos. So let me start with the four best features of Photo Lemur. Number one is the simple and elegant interface. Using Photo Lemur is probably the simplest experience in any photo app, perhaps too simple for some people. To use it, simply drag all your photos to the dialog, click export, click disk, Select the folder and click Save. That's it. The app will begin the editing process, which starts with the message doing magic and includes steps like image analysis, object detection, tone adjustments, lens correction, and others. These operations do take time and you have to wait. In my three-year-old MacBook Pro, it took around 20 minutes to finish processing 40 raw photos and the fan was blowing like crazy. But hey, this is still a breeze compared to manually editing all the raw photos. Number two is good exposure adjustment. Photo Lemur uses technologies to quickly detect inaccurate exposure settings. It then adjusts these settings to achieve the optimal exposure for that particular image, whether by darkening or brightening it. So let me demonstrate it with this poorly exposed photo. Let's drag it to Photo Lemur and see the results. As you can see, Photo Lemur nicely brightened up the rocks in the shadows and lowered the exposure in the sky. It also kept the contrast at a good level. Not bad for an automated process. In fact, the results are comparable to my own editing with the Apple Photos app. So let's look at some other examples which showcase exposure compensation. Number three is color recovery. Photo Lemur says that their automatic color recovery technology makes sure photos retain the bright, vivid colors of real life. They say it instantly adjusts colors to pop beautifully on the screen. So let's demonstrate it with this indoor photo taken with an iPhone in poor lighting. The image visually looks dull. However, after processing with Photo Lemur, you can see how nicely the app brought back the colors vivid yet natural. It also nicely increased the contrast. Here are some other examples which showcase the color recovery of Photo Lemur. Number four is sky enhancement. This is one area where the AI of Photo Lemur really shines. Let's demonstrate it with this shot. As you can see, the sky is washed out, but after processing with Photo Lemur, the AI successfully detected the sky, which has been improved with more vivid blues and whites. The clouds are also sharper with enhanced clarity, which nicely balances the image. From my experience, sky enhancement done manually is not simple at all. You need to have an editor which supports layers or local adjustments to get the same effect. Kudos to Photo Lemur to make this complex task really simple. 
Let's look at other photos which demonstrate sky enhancement. So those are the four best features of photo lemur, but what are the downsides? As I've mentioned in my videos, no photo editor is perfect. Photo lemur's main weakness is that it doesn't do well, in my opinion, with JPEG shots that have significant photo problems like very bad underexposure. I find it does its best exposure adjustments with RAW rather than JPEG. Not all the advertised features were impressive as well. With regards to face enhancement, Photo Lemur's face enhancement is supposed to detect phases in your photos and remove imperfections and blemishes with pleasing natural looking results. These are very impressive features if they actually work. Unfortunately, I couldn't see the face improvement in any of my photos. So I actually looked for an image with significant blemishes to verify this feature, hoping to see a difference. However, as you can see, even with this extreme example, I couldn't see any improvement. So don't buy this app for face enhancement. With regards to lens correction, Photo Lemur is supposed to fix lens generated issues like distortion, chromatic aberration, and vignetting with its auto lens correction. Unfortunately, while there was some effect I could detect, it's so minor as to make the impact close to nil. So I wouldn't really call their lens correction good. So what's the bottom line with Photo Lemur? Do I recommend it? Well, Photo Lemur's main promise is that it will transform your photos from good to great automatically with no photo editing experience. And while I don't think every feature works spectacularly, its ability to correct the most common photo problems, namely dull color, low contrast, and wrong exposure, to my eyes work better than those autocorrect buttons you see in traditional photo editors. And the positives outweigh the negatives. So my answer is yes, I do recommend Photo Lemur. It does make your photos look great. Just don't expect it to transform a bad photo into a good one. But I'd like to know what you think. Is Photo Lemur the best automatic photo editing software out there? Do let me know in the comments. And if you know of any competitors to Photo Lemur, I'd like to know about those as well. And please, before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Till the next time, bye.